Hello guys and welcome to a new Broken Arrow video today by me Vulcan. In this one I'm going to be playing a Vi vs Vive on Frontiers which is one of the maps, one of the six maps available in the Broken Arrow beta. It's just one big highway that goes all the way down the middle here. Now the deck that I'm going to be using today, or battle group that I'm using, is built to use helicopters. So let's go ahead and quickly grab some units so that we can throw these forwards and take advantage of the multiple helicopters that I have. We're going to probably go with something like this. So using a MI-26 to bring in a Sprut, which is a armored vehicle. And then an MI-8 MTV cargo that's going to bring in a couple of anti-air units, the Verba squads and a couple of Cornet squads. So this MI-26, it has a VDB unit in it and a sniper and the Sprut. Uh, the Sprut is actually in my vehicle tab, this thing here. It has a pretty decent gun, honestly, for its points. But it is not as strong as like a generic tank. Over here we can see that our teammate did manage to airdrop a bunch of his troops. But unfortunately his plane got shot down. I didn't have enough points obviously to cover him with my own aircraft. I am going to have to be careful of this enemy SU coming around and having a go at us. There it is, sweeping in. Flying very, very low with that. I'm gonna give them unload orders and uh, then we can move forwards afterwards. So in this game, we do have a line of sight tool. You have to hold the mouse still in order to use it properly. But uh, <laughs> my verb is there, trying their best to kill my own units. Classic. If a missile loses track in this game, it's very easy for them to hit friendlies. So you got to be kind of careful. Then we go. We're going to capture the middle sector here. And my helicopters can be sold. I'm going to bring up even more troops in another MI-8. I'm probably going to need the engineer, engineer uh, to control the right hand side here. I don't really have any other real solid infantry I can bring in. But what we'll do is uh, bring up the MI-8 MTV to the right hand side here. Uh, maybe I can get my other man pad squad over to the left. I'm going to get the sniper squad in this building that can look right down the road for us. We do need something that can capture this. We need to be careful of our left flank. So I think I've set up well defensively. Let's now bring in some better units. So we just sold all of our transports that so we're bringing in those troops and it's now pushed us up to 700 points. Now floating points in this game isn't as bad as you might imagine because if you don't have units on the map your income is higher and therefore you can save units quicker or save uh, points quicker. So in some cases it's probably worth to save at least so you can bring in multiple of the unit you want to bring. So in this case, let's just save to 800 points and then I can bring in two Armatas at the same time. Works really nicely. And each Armata coming in will lower our income. So I'm going to have to be wary of that moving forwards. But let's go ahead and unload the MI-8 over here. A couple of boomerangs opera opposite us. You have to be a little bit careful of. Hopefully this teammate Tunguska just goes and sits in that point. Okay, let's move up these and we'll go ahead and sell the MI-8s. 
Meanwhile, what I'm going to be doing is bringing in some anti-air for us. So we'll bring in a book and we'll bring in Estrella or two to accompany those T-14s. Boomerang, will it get in cover in time? It will. Got to be a bit careful here because these infantry are anti-infantry. I'm not going to deal well with the, all that armor moving in there. What I can do is move my cornet further up, I think. I can probably put it in that building with the sniper. It should be fine. Or we can hold it back because the boomerangs are coming in on our flank. I might VDB here do have a Metis launcher. So they are able to help deal with the boomerangs themselves. But my Sprut is in a terrible position. And I smoked way too late. <laughs> Oops. Well, my T-14s have nearly arrived. I'm going to bring in a BMD-2 here. BDV probably did very dead to this grad. <laughs> Difficult to get away from those. And it looks like he's splitting his strike, so I am gonna have to be very careful. I'm gonna move the T14 Armatas up onto the side of this hill. Let's see where this is going. Timing there is unfortunate. Okay, well, we lost a lot of our initial infantry, which is really unfortunate. Uh, the book can move up into cover. And it looks like my teammate's going to be moving up on the left-hand side, which is good. So what I'm going to want to do here... Probably get the helicopters to bring in the VDV. I could also do something like this, where I bring in a helicopter with the VDV, the MI-35 specifically. And that way... We can use the MI-35 to help engage the enemy tanks. But we don't want to sit here and take shots, especially from this artillery, because any direct hits will definitely hurt. I wonder if they can see the supply. I imagine they can't, otherwise I probably would have arty it already. I'm going to have to be careful of the sprut flanking us. I'm going to bring in some Spetsnaz and the Nerdsvedka, I think, on the left side. One of this infantry, not really able to do much up here at the moment. Oh, the BRM took out the KA-52. Huge. If you do Spesnaz, not going to really stand a chance against an Armata. Hornet certainly hurts. have to smoke that off. We can't just sit and take that engagement. Oh, 
we'll definitely have to move into the flank here. And let's get a boomerang to come and help us out. My boomerangs in this particular battle group are upgraded with the 30 mil auto cannon and the ATGM, gem the boomerang system. Let's move my infantry into position here though. So the plan is to use the VDV Rosetka to kind of find the position of those enemy infantry here. And we're going to be backing them up with the T-14 Armata and the BMD-2. I also have the MI-35 ready to pounce on anything that's undefended by AA. There is a Stradlet NM over here though, so we need to be careful of that because that's infrared AA, so it will be able to easily shoot down the MI-35. Infrared AA in this game is actually kind of difficult to deal with because it's always quite accurate. Like, so even if you have flares, it's, it's going to be pretty effective. For example. <laughs> so, <laughs> the Panzer there just like one banging my MI-35 out of the sky. And that's because the MI-35 doesn't have as much armor as the KA-52 cooler. So it is a lot more prone to that happening. I think what I'm going to do here is we're going to bring in the SU-34. We're going to try and bomb these. Oh, I think I just killed one. Nice. Uh, we need to leave with this. And I would like to kill that pants here. Thank you. Let's see if we can go hunt down his artillery while we're here. Because my Resvitka has spotted them. I did lose my Armata, but we did manage to kill, I think, both of his T-80s. It's pretty big. These artillery pieces are actually a lot stronger than I thought they were. Let's see if we can keep eyes on those. Unfortunately, my boomerang going down there is a bit of a waste. Let's bring up Estrella to them. It looks still in position. It's not it hasn't got radar on at the moment. I don't think it's necessary. I am gonna to want to bring in some more supply soon. Oh, nice shot for the T14 there. Very good. Nice. Um, he's saying there's nothing right next to me. Let's see about wiping that out. Okay, those squads smoked. I think that's trying to escape with the supply. We'll just pop that. I 
close range, those uh, VDB specimens that he has, he's got them equipped with the napalm. So they're actually not as effective as like the Metis against tanks. Let's see if we can get shots on her. Onto this artillery. This KF-52 is a little bit sketchy. Oh, nice goes by the P-15, so that'll work. Yeah, that KF-52 is a problem. Maybe we can shoot it down with the SU-57. Meanwhile, let's select my helicopter. Bring in some supply. Fill the rest with another Spetsnaz squad. Be another sniper, that'll do. Well, that was seed <laughs> that my SU-57 fired there, and it hit a Patriot, which was near supply, which is why I exploded so much over there. <laughs> Hopefully there was a, like another unit nearby, because that would have been really, really good kills. And my T-14 Armata, the first one I lost, is still recharging. It takes a long time. Let's bring in the T-90s to accompany us. But we did a great job of assaulting this area with our teammate. That worked really, really well. What I'm going to do is move all of these uh, back to here. I can't move this BMD2 because it's damaged. See the like red cog on the icon? That means that it basically is unable to move. If it's a yellow cog, then it's like slowed a little bit. Okay, we will just use that to fix these up. Get the rest of those recon units forwards. Recon units are so important in this game. Making sure you have plenty of them is quite important. What I'm going to do instead of sell this is we're just going to fly it back and I'm going to buy in these on foot. And so the MI-8 can run back here and pick them up. I don't know if this is technically quicker or more efficient, but when you don't have the extra points to spend on a transport, like immediately, then it allows you to kind of avoid having to do that. Nice, that mortar fire. Oh, spot on. Very nicely done. Hit that supply perfectly. Let me forward my Strella, see if we can shoot down this K-52. Uh, Alright, the car goes full up. We'll bring that back to the front line. Thank you very much. Oh no, it got tracked. Of course it did. Right, well, we need another one of them. Get my T90 over there. The MI8s on its merry way. If my engineer can move down here and get into this building. Alright, these can start pushing forwards. We are backed up by both my T90 and my T14. We have extra spare stars and snipers on the way. 
Um, so my BDV specs now is I've got them set up so they have the Metis rather than the um, rather than the Napalm launcher, the Thermobaric launcher. Nice fire spot from the T14 that. Slowly but surely making progress on this left hand side. Once again I'm gonna use the cargo plane to bring in my reinforcements. And we're gonna bring in extra VDV. Maybe another engineering. And then we'll bring in the rest supply. KA-52 Oh, where's that going? No, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hopefully we can take advantage of that and just shoot it down Please. Yes, okay, good. Phew. That was close. Nice, teammates have managed to get into that. We're continuing to do a lot of damage on this left hand side. We really are. Oh, that would have been bad news if that MI8 got shot down. It was my T90. Wouldn't have anything to repair it. Let's get the MI8 away from that. Definitely brought that a little too close. Right, time for the T14 to come in and help out there. Estrella forwards. I can move the book over here. Still covered on the left hand side, that's good. The T14 really does mince. Infantry very well. Time for another cargo helicopter. This time we're going to focus on supply. Can I fit one of these in? I don't think I can. I might bring in the Cornet squad. This can bring in a Sprut for me. Actually, no. We'll bring in another Strela Tenam. Then we'll bring in a Verba. Another Recon Ingenuity. I still sat there. I do want to get rid of this Verba squad. That's what shot at my helicopter previously. We got two of them coming in now. I really need to fix that up before I start using it again. My T90 is going to be aggressive, but I do need to be careful. Otherwise, 
Ooh, ouch. What was the infantry coming in at close range there? God damn. That infantry hitting hard with its uh, AT weapons at close range. I think I've managed to pull enough distance there, I hope. I'm just going to keep going back. Losing that is less than ideal. That T90 is a core part of my attack. Alright, let's go ahead and bring in the Burrotino. That will help us clear this out. back. We'll move the sniper up on the left hand side here so we have recon there. Oh, we managed to come at T90. That sucks. That really sucks. Well, I do have another T14 available, so we can bring that in instead. We're working our way to this objective. This is the last objective we've got to ca capture. We are currently losing this one, but I'm sure my teammates will make an effort to take that back. In the meantime, yeah, we, we shall just push up here. I don't know where all the infantry went. Metis launcher popped that. That's good. Oh, looks like they're using the supply here. Right, let's push this all as one. Hope we don't get spanked in the meantime. <laughs> Where's my Burrotino at? It's almost there. The range on this is not very good, so we've got to get pretty close to make use of it. Nice. These guards are losing out. That's good. bring in a bomber to help deal with this, but I think my infantry here should be able to just win. We've got three engineers versus his one, so that should be pretty simple for me. Another sniper over there. B14 can actually come back and fix up. All right, he's running away with his Kamaz again. I think um, oh, his infantry's not in it. Okay, not this time. Okay, good, good kills, good kills. Another cargo helicopter. This time with just supply. 
because I'm going to need to top off all these squads. The reason I'm giving them two orders here is just to make sure that they stay in the forest as they move back. And I want them to stay on more on the left side so the tanks can't shoot them. Because that's two T-14 Armatas sitting back there, which is pretty scary. I haven't really mentioned much about mirror matches in this game, but basically the way it works is um, mirror matches are automatically enabled. So you can't really avoid it at the moment. So in this case, we have a Russian versus Russian fight. And honestly, with the open beta, I don't really mind it. It's a good way to test a lot of the units out. And also, of course, speeds up matchmaking. So that's good, although the number of people playing this game has been absolutely incredible. So that hasn't been so much of a problem, I imagine. The other thing I did, forgot to mention is how this deck's really built. So it is a heli drop deck. I mean, it's kind of been more obvious as the game has gone on, I imagine. But um, yeah, it's basically just a heli drop deck. I continuously develop my position very quickly by constantly dropping off more and more units. That particular unit has been there for a long time. We need to take them out. Let's uh, see about sneaking my sniper up there to go see what's up. Because that can potentially be a problem moving forwards. The Nana certainly will help, so that's nice of my teammate to help out with that. Alright, let's see what we find with the VDV. If anything, I can just smack this with a Buratina strike, so... We are ready. Can I bring in more T90s yet? I can. Right, we'll bring in the T90s to accompany my T14s. As we crush the ridge here, we're going to have to be careful. I might have to run away. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that looks like a nice place to dump a Buratino strike. Let's go ahead and do it. And we'll just crush the ridge as it fires so that we can somewhat see the effectiveness. Kind of whiffed quite a lot. That sucks. Yeah, they whiffed a lot. Oh, I didn't fire all of its rockets. Would be why. I didn't allow it to fire all of them. When you do a fire position, you need to do duration maximum on the Buratino to make it use all of its rockets. So I forgot to do that this time around. But maybe we can hit them second time around. <laughs> it's just dodging that area entirely. Okay. Other T90 coming in. Uh, let's grab the next one. Cool. Here are the T90s. The T90s look really, really cool. Big fan of how these look. sucking up all that supply. I'm going to need more supply. Let's go ahead and bring in another helicopter with supply. Nice, the Kamaz is here. Perfect. My teammate here, Guide Hail, he's been very, very cooperative on this left-hand side. It's nice. Working well together. I'd say that's actually quite a common thing I've noticed uh, while playing this game is people are very inclined to work together. It is the best way to win, so it makes sense, but... You know, some games you play like a RTS and people are kind of wanting to somewhat do better than you, or like they have this like weird like competition thing going on where they don't want you to like use a supply or whatever. Like, Warno is actually a good example of where people don't want you to like use your own supply. Uh, but in this, like, people bring in supply for each other all the time. Uh, and I'm going to bring in more supply as well. Okay. 
Right, we can get these forwards then. Well, maybe we can get that, Susna. That'd be nice. Very nice. Good kill. We're getting closer and closer to this. We're slowly developing our position here. So taking a little bit of time. We'll wait for our T90s to arrive. We got that one coming up. We got this one coming up. Uh, that needs to be sold. This can use up that supply. And we can use the Burrotino to smack this defensive location as we push up. I also have another truck with supply. Looks like my teammates bringing up some more supply as well. Perfect. The longer we sit still, the more vulnerable we are to like a ballistic missile or maybe like a cluster high Mars or something like that. You kind of have to be careful about just sitting here. I'm going to bring in the Grad that has thermobaric rockets. It's something that I have in this particular battle group, so we'll try and make good use of that. A T-80 up on the ridge, I'm not a fan of that at all. What I'm actually going to do, I'm going to use my engineers to clean out this tree line and we're going to bring the armatas over here as well so that we can get the high ground and then we can use it to push on this. That would make more sense. So let's go ahead and shift over a little bit. The reason I'm attacking from this side and not like flanking into them is because of all of the units that could potentially be in these buildings. And this isn't going to be reloaded for a long time. Although, I'm pretty sure it's not reloaded. Maybe it is. Let's get these tanks ready to help out. And up we go. It looks like they might have fallen back from this position. And I saw it coming. My opponents have been consistently falling back from any engagement that I've been trying to force. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, because to me it's like, oh, he's saving up units over time, and eventually what's going to happen is that he's just going to counterattack, and we're going to have a huge amount of forces against us all at once, which could be really bad. Um, so that's kind of what's going through my head right now. Oh, he's dropping smoke here. Perfect. See, did a smoke wall command. Very nice. Very nice. Could allow me to maybe break into some of these buildings. And if we can make sure to clean this out, then this could be a really good position for my tanks up here. And if we can get a sniper like right on the edge, that'd be great as well. Very nice, Cornet doing a good job there. Did take a big hit though. <laughs> and it's run out of ammo, so there's that. We killed the unit that was in there. <laughs> Look at that, he's setting up smoke walls for me. Very, very cool. Great teamwork. I don't think it's necessarily going to save us. 
at least one of my units, unfortunately. Nice. Gotta be careful here. Ooh, big kills, big kills. Big kills. I was a bit worried about that, but uh, oh, we got flanking. Gosh. That's not good. <laughs> Run! How are we going to deal with that? That is a question. I will bring in an SU-34. And maybe we can hit, like, hit it with a laser gutter bomb. Maybe. Uh, these guards, I am pretty worried about. We'll go after burner. We'll do a precision bombing strike on it. And we'll laser. Okay, well that did some damage. Is it enough to fall him back? Looks like it might be. Oh, losing the supply there really sucks. I needed it. I really needed that. Okay. I'm trying to think what unit could help us out here. We can definitely take out this unit. Oh, this cornet. We have a cornet there. Perfect. We'll use that. Oh, big hits. Big hits. We force the Armata right now. We just run into it. that please go back we just killed so much stuff there pop the smoke from the other armata perfect absolutely perfect oh that bomb though Ooh. okay oh, <laughs> I thought I was gonna bomb us it didn't thankfully Bring up a cargo. Uh, my book managed to get a shot off. That was nice. Whew, this is this is going really, really well for us. The T-14s. Bernamu's boss. We managed to take out his T-14 and a bunch of infantry there. That was actually massive. Big kills. Big kills. So potentially we can finish this here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to grab this big boy, and we're going to grab one of each of these. And then a bunch of supply. Add in on the back side so we have some infantry to support us, because we did end up losing like a lot of our stuff here. Looks like my cornet covered us off nicely, because it's used up a lot of its ammo. Veratino is ready to go. Let's just get the sniper to the edge. And we'll try and find ourselves some good targets. Oh, something shot my MI8 on the backside there. Hopefully, nothing will shoot down my MI28, 26. I will take a little bit of wide berth. Because I think there's probably something in here. So, what I'm going to do. Um. I'm going to bring in some engineers to sit there. Armistice 
Let's move that back. Looks like they've somewhat managed to flank like all the way around the edge. Bunch of units here. What I might do is do a like progressive strike from here to here with the Buratino. Like this can go back. These can all move up. Oh, that's victory. It timed out. And in the end, looks like most of the enemy team left. Wonderful. Well, <laughs> 1.8 kill death ratio. Well, not a bad game. That was good fun. Uh, we managed to kill a lot of units on the left side. Uh, Skamokia trying his best to hold us back, I imagine. But um, in the end, got the job done. It's nice to work with this fella. GG. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.